So far in this section, we have only discussed the delta of a single option at a time. But most option traders are likely to have positions consisting of more than one option contract at a time. And they will want to know the delta of their entire portfolio. Thankfully, the calculations for multi-leg positions are relatively simple, as you can sum the deltas of each individual option in the portfolio to get the total delta. Let's look at a simple multi-leg option position, a long straddle. This position consists of buying both a call and a put option at the same strike price and same expiration. We'll look at purchasing the $100 call and $100 put from the previous examples. Here we can see the call delta in blue, and the put delta in red, and the delta of the straddle in green. The delta of the straddle is simply the delta of the call plus the delta of the put. Starting on the left hand side, with the underlying asset price at $70, the $100 call is far out of the money, and has a delta of roughly zero. The $100 put on the other hand is deep in the money, and has a delta of roughly minus one. The straddle therefore, which includes both options, has a delta of roughly minus one, which is the sum of the two individual deltas of minus one and zero. Moving to the middle of the chart, where the underlying asset price is $100, both options are now at the money. The $100 call has a delta of roughly 0.52, and the $100 put has a delta of roughly minus 0.48. The delta of the straddle is the sum of both of these, so sits at roughly 0.04. So when the underlying asset price is close to the strike price, the delta of each leg of the straddle roughly cancels out the other. Moving to the right, where the asset price is $130, the $100 call is now deep in the money, with a delta of roughly 0.99. The $100 put is now far out of the money, and has a delta of roughly minus 0.01. The delta of the straddle then is 0.99 minus 0.01, which gives 0.98. We've used a straddle here, but the same holds true for vertical spreads, ratios, and any other option combination you can think of. Underlying price movement, implied volatility, and time will all still have an effect on the delta of multi-leg option strategies, just as they do for individual options. To get the total delta for all the legs combined though, we can simply sum the deltas for all the individual legs. To keep things simple, we have so far assumed a position size of 1. This will rarely be the case in practice, so you will often need to know the delta for positions that vary in size. Much like how we can sum the deltas of individual legs to give the total delta of the portfolio, to calculate the delta of a position size that does not equal 1, we simply multiply by the position size to give the total delta of the position. The Bitcoin options on Deribit have a contract multiplier of 1, meaning each option contract represents a notional position of 1 Bitcoin. With this in mind, let's look at a few examples of calculating the total delta, taking into account the position sizes. For example, if you purchase 15 Bitcoin call options with a delta of 0.05 each, the total delta of your position is 0.75. This is calculated as 15 multiplied by 0.05. If you purchase 10 call options with a delta of 0.35, and purchase 10 put options with a delta of minus 0.33, the total delta of your position is 0.2. This is calculated as 10 multiplied by 0.35 plus 10 multiplied by minus 0.33, which equals 3.5 minus 3.3 or 0.2. If you sell five call options with a delta of 0.28, and buy 5 call options with a delta of 0.15, the total delta of your position is minus 0.65. This is calculated as minus 5 multiplied by 0.28 plus 5 multiplied by 0.15. This gives us minus 1.4 plus 0.75 or minus 0.65. Although both the options we've traded in this last example are call options, which both have positive delta, we have sold the 0.28 delta calls, which gives us a negative delta position for these five calls. 
Later in the course, we will cover many multi-leg strategies, where we look at their deltas, as well as the other Greeks. For now though, just remember that the delta of a multi-leg option strategy is equal to the sum of the deltas for the individual options it contains. Remember to also adjust for the position size by multiplying the delta of each option by the position size for that option.